Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Moon Project. We here at the Moon Project are continuing our series of videos with respect to inspiration, uh, education, information, advice, guidance, and I want to take a few moments to talk about the uh, Tanakh's prohibitions and guidance with respect to uh, a widow. Uh, many times the Tanakh says, we are, you shall not persecute any widow or orphan. As in Exodus chapter 22, in Isaiah chapter 1, we are told to, to defend uh, the orphan and plead for the widow, fight for her, take up her cause. And um, I'm presented with the imagery of a widow's tears. This is something that has deep meaning for me personally. My mother was, remains, a widow. When my grandmother came to this country and lived with us and my cousins, and my uncles and aunts, she was a widow. Her mother before her was a widow. This is a subject very close to my heart. And I'm, I'm caught up with the uh, image of the tears of a, widow, uh, of a widow, who can estimate the value of these tears, how precious they are in the eyes of God, and what influence they can have. We cannot estimate the influence of the of a widow's tears. And I'm reminded of a story uh, many years ago in Jerusalem. They were looking for a, uh, a chief rabbi. And um, one of the positions, one of the, the rabbim, one of the rabbanim, uh, or up for the position was uh, Rav Chaim Yaakov Levine, uh, a great scholar, a, a great uh, rabbi, and more than qualified for the position. And um, when he found out he was up for p the position, he asked, well, who else is a candidate? And they told him, well, a Rav Batsal Zolti. Immediately, Rabbi Levine said, I'm withdrawing my candidacy. I am not going to compete against Rabbi Batsal Levine. I won't. And he dug in his heels. And many great rabbanim were pleading with him, saying, what are you doing? I mean, you know, we need you. You have to, you have to run. You have to get a chance at this position. Absolutely not. End of story. I'm not doing it. I'm not running against Batsal Levine, or Rav Levine, uh, Zolti. One of the rabbis said, why are you so adamant? Rabbi Levine told him the story of his father. This would have been Harav Arye Levine, all of a sudden. He said when, uh, when the younger Levine uh, was young, his father, Arye Levine, told him a story. He was walking through Jerusalem, Jerusalem at night and he saw this old, poor old woman darning socks by a light of a single candle. And um, the senior Rabbi Levine said to the woman, why are you doing this? You know, darning, locks, uh, darning socks by, by a small lamp? I mean, it's kind of hard for us these days to, to realize this. You know, your socks are, are, are men, you know, are, are whole, uh, got holes and things. You, you get, you fine, you go to Walmart, you get some more socks, no big deal. In those days, you would pay, usually a, a poor widow or someone who's desperate for money, give her a few coins and she would darn your socks. He says, why are you doing this? And the woman explains, I am a poor widow. The few coins that I get from darning socks, I'm able to pay uh, a Rebbe to teach Torah to my son. And as she sat there darning socks, the tears from her eyes fell onto the socks. Made an amazing impression on Ari Levine and on his son. So it was at that point that um, Harav Chaim Yaakov Levine exclaimed, do you know who that woman was? Her son is Betzal Zolti. Harav Zolti, I will not run against him. 
his spiritual growth was in a field that was irrigated by the tears of a widow. Is it possible to estimate the value and the effect of those tears? I will not run against Harav Batzal Zolti. I will not. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. I hope you're finding them inspiring. I hope you're finding some use in them. And until next time, on behalf of the Imuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.